Hi guys, welcome to the software preview to YouTube Bulk Uploader for the Lazy. This is an awesome application. It allows you to bulk upload videos to YouTube. You can tag all your videos offline. So if you're on a train or somewhere without an internet connection, you can prepare every aspect of your video. The only thing you need internet for is to actually upload the videos themselves. And you can do this anytime. So this is the great sweet feature of this application. The other thing is the auto tagging feature. It takes the file names and uses this as the basis of the tags for your videos. And you can bulk set uh, all your video settings. If you have a group of videos which are quite similar, you drag them onto the application, apply certain tags to all the videos and you're away. It is a really great application and it does support every single video file type that YouTube does. So let's check it out. Once you've opened the application, you'll probably get a screen similar to this. This is the application itself. And if you have no accounts, uh, in the database and if it's a first run you won't have so you can simply add an account right here check out the other video on how to do that uh, let's get started with actually uploading the videos once you have accounts it, within the software they will all appear here so first select the account you want to add the videos to so I want to add some videos to this account here uh, next you've got to drag and drop the video files here on my hard drive here I have a folder called videos to upload this is where I keep all my videos that I want to upload I recently went on a vacation to New Mexico and Oklahoma and Texas and I've already prepared these videos the good thing about this application uh, like I mentioned before uh, it auto tags your videos based on the file name so it's down to you to rename them to something very descriptive uh, I usually put the location where the video was shot what I actually did there and some key things here we went to a pet store there was an angry dog it was trying to bite our fingers and this was in Albuquerque New Mexico it's a very funny video um, so what the application will do is take all these words here and use them to tag your video so when you drag and drop all that is done for you the key thing is to save you and everyone else time that's the main thing at the end of the day you want it to be easy and you want it to be quick uh, the other thing as well it supports a range of file types you can see here on this vacation it looks like i had five different cameras uh, we had something making mkvs something making asfs mp4s 3gps and mov files as well so uh, what I want to do is, I uh, think I'm ready to upload all of these videos here, so simply select them all, or whichever ones you want to upload, and drag them onto the application. And it's easy as that. Uh, if the videos are already in the database in this application, it will prompt you and say, hey, they're already in here, or hey, you've already actually uploaded these to YouTube. This is down here. So video not yet in the database for this user and the video is not uploaded. So we know we haven't uploaded any of these videos before. You can toggle between the different videos by just clicking them in the list here. And you can change various settings here. So you can see in the tag section, it's actually taken all the words from the file name. Uh, a YouTube tag cannot have one character, so it's uh, removed these. And it also removes duplicates also. Uh, it's generated a description. It takes the date from the video and puts it here. Uh, the date is when the video was last converted, so this is why this message is here. And you can change this message if you would like also. Uh, this is the title of the video. You have some privacy settings down here. And you can also change the category. So for all of these videos, it, it's, it was more like travel and events. It was visiting uh, Mexico, no, uh, New Mexico, sorry. So I do want them all to be in travel and events. So if you want to apply this setting to all of the videos, simply click the checkbox corresponding to the setting you want to apply to all the videos. So that is this one here. I want to put them all in travel and events. I simply hit save you'll see every single video is now in travel and events. You can also do this for tags here by applying them to all videos and the description also and the privacy down there as well. Uh, so that's great. Um, if I, you have multiple YouTube accounts added into this software you'll notice another setting down here up here. Uh, if I've already added all of these to my travel channel, uh, which is a totally different YouTube account, and I've already tagged them and everything, and I've already uploaded them, for example, and then I might want to put two or three of them on my main channel, maybe the funny ones, I might have a funny channel, uh, I can simply uh, hit this button here 
and that will take all the tags, all the descriptions and everything from the other YouTube account and put them into these videos here. So it's a great way um, if you've already tagged a video uh, within this application and you want to put it on another channel, uh, another YouTube account, simply hit this button or you can apply it to all the videos and it will copy all those settings over. So that saves a hell of a lot of time. Uh, so you can see uh, this trip is from, like I said, New Mexico, Oklahoma. So if there's any other tags I might want to add, I can, I can apply these to all the videos also. The other great thing uh, about um, tags is, uh, well, the worst thing about tags is they take ages to actually do. So I've got this tag manager here. This simply allows you to automatically set loads of tags at once. So say I have a lot of videos to do with animals, uh, specifically dogs. Uh, I can call the tag say dogs or it might be a sp specific dog maybe like a Labrador or a Border Collie so say I take a lot of videos of Border Collies uh, so my tags might be Border Collie uh, Border Collie separately like that dog, doggy uh, those dogs are quite clever um, smart tr tricks uh, anything that may apply to all your videos you seem to do a lot so you can add a tag here and it'll appear in this list when you go back to your video say we've got our angry chihuahua say if that was a border collie just for purpose of example I can right click my tags and this option will appear here that will automatically add all those tags from the tag manager into this video so that really saves a lot of time if you have a lot of videos that are quite similar you, when you upload videos before you might notice you type in the same tags every time so you have especially if you have a channel where a lot of the videos are very similar so the tag manager allows you to really speed up this process you can see I um, tag a lot of videos to do with dance games here these are arcade dance games like Dance Dance Revolution and you can see these are the same tags I use every single time so if I'm uploading a video to do with that I simply right click press that and all my tags are already in here it saves so much time and you can also apply this to all your videos so they're all instantly tagged within a couple of seconds it's really quick and as simple as that also when you make any change to any video you'll see it's grayed out until you hit save uh, this is so once you've hit save this will save and you won't lose any of your information even if I close the application now all these changes will be here for me next time so there's no worry about losing all this work you've just done it's it's already thought about and the user is always the vocal point when developing any, any application so and you can drag this out you can see your video titles it, it the uh, user interface is very responsive like that so once you've made all the changes to your videos it might be the case of just dragging them dropping them here you can simply add them to the upload queue once you've added them to the upload queue it will say adding videos to the database and upload queue what this does it physically tags the video files with an ID for each video that means when you move the videos anywhere else on your computer the, the application can track these so within the video database it knows where they are at all times so you can see they added up to added into the upload queue pretty quick and you're ready to now drop drag and drop videos into the application again uh, this is the upload queue uh, these are all the videos we've just added in there as you can see from this trip here uh, then in a status of in queue so they're now ready to be uploaded uh, within the application there's a lot of help icons this really guides you and gives you some tips on um, how each section in the app works uh, we can add videos to multiple accounts at once so we might have an account here a different account here you can really mix and match all of these it does you don't have to do it for one account all the time um, you can reorder the priority of these so say if we think people might be really interested in this video you can simply right click and move to the top and now this will be the first one to be uploaded you can also do this by dragging and dropping these video rows here and that will simply shuffle it as well uh, there are some other options um, say if an upload fails you lose internet connection you can request and requeue and that will requeue the video and re-upload it you can also deprioritize a video move it to the bottom and remove and cancel it completely so you've totally changed your mind and that will leave the interface 
when, uh, once you're ready to upload, you can just hit this button. You can hit this button at any time. It will just literally pick off the top one and slowly move down until all the videos are uploaded. Once the video is uploaded, the YouTube URL will appear in this messages here. It will be a link to the video. You can click that and your browser will open and you can view the video. As simple as that. Once you've clicked this button, add to upload queue, and they appear in your upload queue, they will also be add added to the video database. As you can see at the bottom here, um, this is the YouTube account I've added these videos to. And at any time, as long as the video is not being currently uploaded, you can edit the video and make some changes. And this is where you do it in the video database. So find the video you might want to change, say inside a storm shelter, maybe uh, we want to add something more specific. You click the edit button and it's an interface similar to what we saw in the video editor. So you can see the account it belongs to. Maybe you now want to upload it to a different account. You can change that there. Maybe the storm shelter was, wasn't actually in Tulsa, it was somewhere else. You can make that change here, for example. Maybe it was somewhere totally different. Maybe it was in Oklahoma City. Uh, this is the file name where the video is located. You don't really want to change this uh, unless the video is actually somewhere else, but you should use the file path sync tool uh, rather than editing that manually. But I put it there because people obviously might want to um, change that. It allows for a large degree of flexibility. This is the YouTube ID. Um, this will only appear when the video is uploaded. As you can see, the video is not yet uploaded, so there's nothing in here. This is the description, and these are the tags here also. And you can also change the category and the privacy. Um, when you come to save your video, if you have this checkbox ticked, if the video is uploaded to YouTube, it will apply all the edits to the video on YouTube and locally within this application. So the video database is more like a man content management system also. It manages all your videos so you can upload them in the future, which a lot of applications don't actually do. Um, a lot of applications out there, you upload your video and that's it. It doesn't remember the video, it doesn't remember all your tags, it doesn't remember anything. So that's the great thing about this, is that you can requeue any video to be uploaded again and it'll always remember every tag for every video you've ever added within this application. And you can also remove the video from the database completely and if you want to remove it from YouTube also check this box before you click the button. So I've cancelled that uh, so you can see the change hasn't been reflected. If you do wish to save a change it'll update it within here, it'll update it within the upload queue so you can actually upload those changes as long as it's not being uploaded of course. Uh, so that's the great thing about the video database. It tracks everything you've uploaded. You can see here we have um, all our videos uh, here have a YouTube status. If they've been uploaded uh, like this one, you can simply click it and it will open within YouTube and you can play your video. So you can see the Roadkill Cafe there. Uh, these ones haven't been uploaded, so of course we don't have a link for those yet. Within this application, I have 506 videos. I've uploaded through it for numerous different YouTube accounts, and it handles them really well. It's, the application is quite fast and responsive. Uh, so let's go to the next tool. Uh, this is File Path Sync. Uh, this is really clever how it works. Um, say within our example here, we have a folder called Videos to Upload. Uh, that's all these videos here. Once we've uploaded them to YouTube, we're naturally going to want to store them someplace else. We might want to put them on our uh, secondary partition, uh, or say we've uploaded a video and we've realized there's a spelling mistake in our file name, so we change that, for example. Uh, so once these have all been uploaded, um, naturally we do want to put them somewhere else. Uh, so. I've now put them in the uploaded videos stored away someplace folder rather than videos to upload. And now the program doesn't actually know where these files are located because it's impossible for it to know. So if we edit this, you can still, it still thinks they're in the videos to upload folder. And we don't want that. We want the application to know where they are at all times so we can upload them again if we want to. So the be beautiful thing about file path sync is that you can put in your video folder and it'll scan every single video and work out its new location. So say this is our videos folder here, C temp videos. 
it'll scan every folder within here recursively which means it'll keep digging deeper until it finds the videos and it'll automatically update the database with the new file path so if we scan for changes here you can see it's uh, let's look at the first one here uh, the file has been found in the database because we've already added it in there. A change has been detected, which is true because we've actually moved it in our videos folder. And it's saying the file path has now been updated. So when we go back in the video database for that video, any one of them really, you'll notice it's already updated the file name to uploaded videos stored away someplace because we've moved them somewhere else. So now the application knows, knows where our videos are right now, so if we want to we can upload it again and it will simply pick up the video from this new file path. So that is what file path sync does, it literally syncs your videos with the database. Uh, and you can see it scanned 15 files but 45 videos have been updated, that's because these are now on three different YouTube accounts, so 3 times 15 is 45. Uh, within the account management, as I covered briefly before, if you add a new user, you'll get a browser pop-up window. Uh, the application will never ask for your YouTube password. You simply grant the application access to add videos to your YouTube account. That's as simple as it gets. You can modify an account, and when you add an account, you can call it whatever you really want. It doesn't really matter. Um, it's just something specific to you. So it doesn't have to be your email, for example. And within the admin uh, utility area, there's some admin tools. You may wish you don't want to use the application at all ever again. So you can click delete all video data. Like anything really harsh like that, you should always have a prompt. So it'll, it'll confirm again. So I really do not want to do that. Um, you can also resync database uh, categories with YouTube. Um, say if YouTube adds a new category in the system the application won't know about it um, so what it does it resyncs these categories especially if you live in a different country sometimes don't have these categories I know for example um, in the United Kingdom they call um, like autos uh, cars so that's cars and vehicles in the United States it's autos and vehicles so again that will be slightly different so for things like that when you move between countries you would want to do another category resync so you can get the latest categories so these are useful uh, admin tools as you can see there's it gives you a little bit more information about that um, so that is a very basic overview how to get started with YouTube bulk uploader for the lazy um, the key is offline tagging that's the beauty of it and say once you've tagged all your videos you can process the upload queue and as you can see, um, when you actually do that, this is when it asks for your license. Uh, I'm not going to put that in now, but once you do that, it'll start picking off these videos. And there's a percentage bar down here that will slowly increase for each video. As soon as one's updated, again, you can click the link and you're ready to view the video. So this is a YouTube book uploaded for lazy. Check it out. Um, check all the videos. This is like a quick start overall video, but each other video goes into these a little bit more so you can learn more about it and uh, really create um, a better way of managing your YouTube videos. So I'm Sean. Check it out and you won't be disappointed.